Tonight, an unsolved murder from Pasco County with twists, turns, and intrigue. Got to go back to 1986. Helen Wendy LaRoche was newly married and happy with life, but she was gunned down at a convenience store. Pasco County Sheriff's detectives believe there may be more to this killing than just a run-of-the-mill robbery. Eight on your side's Jeff Patterson reports Pasco detectives are still looking for answers and possible clues may still be turning up at her grave. <laughs> June 29th, 1986, working alone at night in a secluded convenience store on US-19, Wendy LaRoche had a lifetime in front of her until someone gunned her down. She liked to have fun. She had a great sense of humor. Dane LaRoche met Wendy when they were students at Hudson High School, where he is now the principal. They were soon married. Wendy took a job at the Gas and Save. It was probably not a great idea, but it wasn't something that we thought about and were concerned about. Not a good idea because stores like this have been frequent targets for robbery. One of the things working in a convenience store is it's a dangerous job. You know, it, most people look at that as an easy cash. Homicide detective Todd Koenig is assigned to all of the unsolved murders in Pasco County. The Pasco Sheriff's Office doesn't just quit work in these cases. We want the families to know that. On the night of June 29th, Dave went to the gas and save to trade out cars with his wife. I remember she was uh, closing the store. He left her car in the parking lot, her driver's license on the seat, and told Wendy good night. I stayed with her for a few minutes, 10, 15 minutes, I recall, and everything seemed normal to me. One of the people who came through the store that night was an off-duty Pasco County Sheriff's deputy who came in to pick up transmission fluid for his car. You know, there wasn't a lot of convenience stores in those days like there is now. As a matter of fact, this one was on the west side of 19, kind of where Home Depot is now, and it was very secluded. William Lawless spent more than 30 years as a Pasco County Sheriff's deputy. One thing he remembers vividly about that night, walking in and not being able to find anyone. So finally, I did the, <clears throat> anybody here? And she popped up from behind the podium, which I thought was odd. Yeah, so my comments to her were, you're a woman, you're here at night by yourself. You need to be more aware of your surroundings. 10 minutes after Lawless left, another customer came in, pumped gas, then went into the store and found Wendy's lifeless body in a back room, already dead from multiple gunshots. Pasco County deputies found cash still in the register, and detectives determined Wendy was shot at very close range. And some of the injuries that she sustained were looked more personal. At the start, Pasco detectives even looked at Dave. We went through the, the whole game, and I, I'm sure initially um, I, was, I was one of the people that they were focused on. There was even talk that another man was pursuing her. There was one individual that wanted to date her, although she was married, wanted to date her, wanted to take her muddy in that night. And then there is this strange fact. Over the last 30 years, when Dave LaRoche has been to his wife's grave, he finds things. Sometimes there are flowers, artificial and otherwise, left at the site that I know nobody from my family has ever left there. So who is? Who's leaving the flowers? And who killed Wendy LaRoche? Dave just wants closure. It would mean it would mean a lot. Yeah, he really choked up there. Obviously, he wants closure in all of this. After all of these years, Dave would truly like to know who killed his young wife and why. And as in many homicide cases, people do talk after time. And Detective Koenig says he just needs one person to come forward with the right information to tie all of these pieces together. And what about the items left at the grave? Anything to that? You know, it, there could be something to that, or it could be something as simple as a high school friend, somebody that she knew back then, somebody she was close to. Her family's out of the area, his family didn't leave it. It might have been just a friend, or it could be somebody who knows something about this. And if that's the case, Detective Koenig would like to know about it. Well, we'd like to hear this got solved as well. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. And now we have